Hey everyone, I know it's been a long time since I came out with another video and I apologize. I know I said I would have videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah, uh, I decided not to do that anymore. <laughs> uh, instead, I'm going to have videos out every Saturday. Um, I realize I do a blog post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I said why not have my videos out on a completely different day? So I decided on a Saturday and also as you can see, I have a new hairstyle for this time for my new videos. I got bangs now. Ha. Anyway, today's video is actually going to be on a anime review for the anime No Game No Life. And if you've been checking out my Twitter feed, uh, you realize it's actually been a long time coming with me trying to finish this show for a few reasons. Um, work, life, there you go. That's why it's taking me such a long time to finish this particular show. Also, overall feeling of the show, well, let's just say I didn't like it at all. Actually, scratch that. There were some parts I liked, some parts I didn't like about the show. And to be completely honest, I think it's just that it wasn't my type of show. There was a lot of etching in it, and for those of you guys who are like, what exactly is that? And I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it's pretty much where there's just a lot of fan service involved in it. And I honestly don't care about fan service. It's not a big deal for me. I'll watch shows that have it. Hey, whatever. Um, I think it's just that what got me about the show was that I was just so confused the entire time. Um, it was just some parts of it I was just like oh this is actually really really funny and then there are some parts other parts where I was just like I don't know what's going on mm. anyway the basis of the show is about these two kids by the name born a girl who are siblings their name are Sora and Shiro basically they don't go to school they're pretty much what's called neats and they basically play games all day and they're actually really good at it. Shiro's actually extremely smart. Sora's smart, but also very, very funny. And basically they get invited to basically go to another world where to solve all their problems, they have to play games or they have to play a game. And there's this list of rules. And so along the way they realize that they want to become gods of this world. Sorry, my nose is running, which is perfectly fine. The only thing was that it took a long time to get to that premise of the show. And unless you read the synopsis of it, you knew where it was going, but you didn't know where it was going if you didn't read the synopsis. For me, for example, I just thought it was going to be kind of more so like a lighthearted show, although not completely. Um, but anyway, I just didn't get it. I was so confused a lot of the times with what was actually going on. The music didn't fit the show like the opening like music was very very dramatic so it made me feel more so like that song would have fit more in like sword art online more than anything it didn't seem like it would fit this kind of a show and to me it didn't the show needed i don't know why but it needed more of a different kind of an opening not that one it was very very over dramatic and i was just like the opening makes you seem like this show is going to be very dramatic, but then it, most of it is like really just funny stuff that happens. And the ending song was very depressing. Like it was so sad. Although, to be completely honest, I didn't watch the complete ending song, but from the beginning of it, it was just so, so sad. And I was just like, it doesn't fit. Like nothing dramatic happened before the series, the episode was over. Unless you count um, believe, like episode 9 going into episode 10. There was a bit of a like dramatic things that happened. And I was like, okay, the ending song kind of fits. Because it does put you on edge for the next episode. I apologize, my hair's getting in my way. So that for me was very dramatic. But then when you looked at other series, like it was just, uh, just all over the place for me. I just I didn't really like it. And I think other people I know loved the show. They thought they really liked it. For me, I just, just didn't do it for me. And I think it was mostly just because of the fact that it just wasn't my kind of show. It just wasn't for me. Yeah. That just just wasn't my show. Um, the characters, though, I actually love the characters. That's the weird thing about the show. I didn't like the plot. 
at all. But I love the characters. They were so funny. Like, Sora and Shiro. Oh my god. Sora was just a hilariousness. Completely con con like, combined in the show. It was like her definition of like the kind of boy that like never gets out. And he's like in love with women. And he just wants to like sleep with all of them. But it was really funny. And then Shiro, she's so serious. But she has moments where she's just so cute and so funny. And she's just super smart. I loved her. But the best character that I loved, one of them was Steph. She was so funny. She didn't understand half the stuff she was doing because um, Sora told her to do it. And she's just like, why am I with these two idiots? And it was hilariousness just all over the place. And uh, Jibril, uh, who gets introduced in like episode like five or six, I believe. I could be wrong about this. But she she was also just really funny. She just wanted to absorb everything that was like information wise and she just didn't care so that's why i liked her so thumbs up for the characters thumbs up thumbs down though for the music and the plot <laughs> but yeah so overall though i gave this show overall like a four out of ten so if you look on my list.net that's where i'm getting most of these ratings from i gave it a four out of ten didn't didn't really do it for me sorry um but for anyone that's actually seen this show, comment down below on what you thought of it. I want to see your opinions. You don't have to agree with me. Actually, I like when you guys don't because then it's like I get to see other sides of it and see things that while other people loved it and I didn't like it, why you guys actually love the show. So yeah, comment down below on what you thought of it. Um, yeah, that's what I want to know. Um, next video will probably be out next Probably not next Saturday. I'll probably actually put my next video out probably a little bit earlier. Probably like Thursday. Yeah. Mostly because I'm going out of town next week. I'm going to SAG Anime. So if you're going, see you there. I'm going there for my birthday. So I'm super excited. Um, so in that case, the video's gonna be, this video's going to be out kind of a little bit earlier. So check it out. Uh, it's probably going to be a discussion. And I've had a poof of inspiration after checking out a few different anime channels here on YouTube. One of them has to be the Anime Man. Um, love his videos. Huge shout out to him. I've been watching a lot of your videos. I love your stuff. Definitely keep doing your thing. Like it. Anyway, um, I'm also going to put in the description box below all the links to my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, my WordPress blog as well. Check out my blog as well. It's going to still be updated every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, yeah but thanks again for checking out this video thanks again to, for checking out my other videos and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos all right thanks y'all bye